It's fall, y'all. I don't really do a lot of fashion content anymore, but I have picked up quite a few pieces recently that are just so freaking cute. Like all of the fall fashion this year, it's just calling to me more than ever. I am a summer girl, but some of this fall fashion, I had to share it with you. Okay, I had to share it with you. So that is what we're gonna do today. Hello and welcome if you are new here, my name is Rachel. And if you're not new here, thank you so much for coming back. I'm gonna link everything I can down below in the description box. And many of those links are affiliated, which means if you click on one of those links and you make a purchase through those links, I may earn a small commission. Thank you so much ahead of time if you do decide to do that. It really does help support my channel and keep me uh, keep me continuing to do this channel, let's be real. But I've got so many cute fall pieces I had to share with you, so let's do it. I know this like ugly little thing on my shirt is very distracting, but it is my mic for today. I'm having mic issues with my normal setup. Okay, I'm gonna start off with a couple pairs of shoes because these, these shoes, I just have to share, honestly. So I, I'm falling into this trend of clogs. I saw this a couple years ago and I thought, absolutely not. You won't catch me wearing clogs. I've worn them in my youth and I thought they were so out of fashion, but for some reason, the way that I'm seeing them worn this fall is just, I love them. And they're so comfortable. It's like wearing slippers out in public. And the way that I'm loving wearing them is with an ankle sock. So something like this, <laughs> where the sock comes above the ankle. And I will also link these socks. These particular socks are so comfortable. I don't know what it is. They're just like extra plushy. Anyway, so Birkenstock is the brand, Oh. There's a bug on it. Get this bug. So Birkenstock is the brand that, uh, you know, has the most expensive ones. I went to Target because Target has a version and I tried them on and I wasn't really impressed. They felt a little stiff and I have a very narrow foot and I wear between a seven and a half and an eight. I could go either way. And so then I went to Kohl's and I found these ones at Kohl's. They're the brand Sonoma, which is like the Kohl's brand. I will link these exact ones down below. They fit me great. They still have like a wider toe box. So I think if you have a normal width or a wide width foot, you could still wear them. But these ones are very, very comfortable. Like the suede leather part is very, very soft and they are available online and they're very inexpensive, especially compared to the Birkenstocks. Birkenstocks are like over a hundred dollars. I'm not paying that. I'm not paying that for, for a pair of shoes like these. So anyway, these ones are from Kohl's. I absolutely love them. You're gonna be seeing me wearing them throughout the video. The other thing that I've been dying to buy and I've been really thinking about this purchase for a while, they, again, just how I'm seeing them worn everywhere, I'm just obsessed. It's the Adidas Sambas. These. They're just gonna be my go-to sneaker for the fall. I just know it, especially when I'm wearing, I live in Florida, by the way, so I should start by saying that when I'm wearing skirts and shorts, definitely for the fall, like I won't, it doesn't really get cold here until the winter time. So these are gonna be perfect, perfect. And again, they're very expensive. The uh, adult version or a lot of them are over $100, over $110 but I bought the kids version, the boys version. And I wear a seven, in Adidas, I wear a seven to a seven and a half because they run big. And I got a size six in boys and they fit great. They fit great and actually they're a little wide. So again, if you have a normal with foot, I think you'd be totally fine going with the boys. And they were significantly cheaper, <laughs> significantly cheaper. So I'm gonna link the kids ones down below. I'll link the adult ones as well if you're interested, but yeah, I think kids goes up to size seven. So I think even if, if seven and a half, eight, even if you're up to an eight and a half in women's, I think you could still buy the kids and it would fit you, but I freaking love these shoes. Again, I wear them a little bit throughout the video, but I just got these in yesterday. So, oh, so cute. These aren't new to me, but I've never really talked about them here on my channel. I have two different colorways of these Converse platform sneakers. I've never been a high top girl because I have short legs and I feel like they make my legs look shorter if I'm wearing them with shorts or skirts or something, but I'm over that, okay? I don't care because these are the most comfortable sneakers I've ever worn in my life. Most comfortable. I could walk for miles in these and my feet feel great. And I love how big the platform is. These are like the big chunky platform ones. They have ones that are slightly smaller platforms, um, but I have this in like a 
off-white and like a clay color. I have them in black and white and I love wearing these because I have shorter legs. Whenever I have baggy pants that are a little too long for me, they give me a little extra height so the, the pants aren't dragging on the ground, you know? So love these sneakers as well. Love them so much. I will link them down below. Another trend that I am here for, it's coming back from my youth. Once again, it all comes back around, doesn't it? It's so interesting, is sweater vests. And I have three different ones to talk about. They're all very different looking, very different textures. So this one is kind of more a traditional, almost like professional looking one. This one is from Target. It's from the brand A New Day. I do find A New Day runs slightly big, but I did get my normal size small. And uh, yeah, they, they fit great. By the way, in the description box with all the links, I also put all of my sizing information, like my height, my usual pant size, my usual top size, my usual shoe size, etc., down in the description box in case you need to know. But this is a really nice, you could wear this for workwear, definitely. You could put a shirt under it as it's getting colder. But again, me in Florida, like I wanna wear a sweater, but I definitely can't wear a sweater that has sleeves on it yet. <laughs> so this is a good like transition piece to go into fall for me. And it is just a classic heather gray. I do think they are like a charcoal gray rather. I do think they have other uh, colors as well with the gold hardware, which is good because I mostly wear gold jewelry. Uh, very comfortable. I would say it's more on the medium weight side, not super thin, not super thick. And I have a variety of different weights uh, coming up here. So really like the sweater vest. It's really, really cute. This one I've seen forever on social media, but I decided to pick it up because I just, I love checkerboard. I love black and white. And this is from Amazon. This is their crocheted vest. This is very lightweight. Like it's, I wouldn't even consider it a sweater. It's straight up crochet. Very, very cute. Very, very cute. This is perfect again for me where it's hot out. I can wear this and it's like, you know, not heavy at all. It doesn't say the size on here. I wanna say this is a one size situation. Let me find it. No, this is a size small. This is called black and beige, and then they have black and white. So the, yeah, the white color isn't exactly a, a pure white. And yeah, it's really cute. It comes in and out of stock. At this moment, it is in stock. So of course I will link it down below, but yeah, love it. And then this is another kind of viral Amazon sweater vest. So cute. Again, this comes in and out of stock. This is definitely a thicker weight. It's like straight up someone really knitted it with thick yarn. It's really, really soft. Like it's not itchy at all. It is so cute. I love the big gold hardware. Oh, it's so cute. Um, I will say I, I'm going to not hang it like this for very long because I do feel that the weight of it is almost stretching the sleeves. So I'm gonna try to store it in a different way, but this is so cute. Like I just love the different like textures that are coming out now. They're just looking more expensive than they are. And this one, let me see if this one is a one size. Nope, this is also in a small. So yeah, I would say that they, they all fit true to size and they're not cropped. Like if you wear a pair of high-waisted jeans as you're seeing in the try-ons, you're not gonna see a midriff. So, but you, of course you could always wear something under them as well, but I just love this sweater vest trend, love it. So I'm gonna keep going with the separates. I do have some dresses that I will put at the end. The other trend that I'm loving is boxer shorts. Again, I remember being a teen, wearing boxer shorts to school, wearing like these, but pants version to school as well. It's like wearing pajamas out of the house, but it's acceptable because it's considered like actual clothing. Love these. Now I bought these on Amazon and I originally ordered a size medium. I do typically wear a size small and they were way too big. So I returned them uh, cause I'd heard that they run small, but these exact ones for sure don't run small. In fact, I think they run even a little big cause I did get a small and they're a little, still a little too big, but I'd rather them be a little too big than a little too small. You know what I mean? I'm trying to be comfortable. That's the whole point of wearing these boxer shorts. But I feel like there's so many different ways that you can wear this in the try on. I just wore it with like a black kind of like baby tee, crop tee with some gold jewelry and my Adidas Sambas. And it's just really cute. It's just a really cute little outfit. It's very comfy, good for running errands, uh, whatever. Like, I, I just love it. I'm so excited to have these. I kind of want to get them in more colors. I don't think I need them in more colors though. Like, I think one color is enough. I think black and white is really like universal. You can put it with different pops of color as well. But yeah, I will of course link those down below. And then I'm really into like this athleisure wear thing. I mean, 
I've always been into athleisure wear, but I just like to be comfy now. I think maybe it's because I'm getting older. <laughs> I'm all about comfort. So I bought this uh, this outfit from Walmart. So this ribbed tee, it is such, and my hair is all over it. This is such an interesting ribbed tee or ribbed tank, I should say. I love how it has thick straps so you can wear a regular bra with it. That's really important to me. And it is a ribbed material. It's very stretchy, but it's a little bit on the thicker side. So it feels like really good quality. I did size up to a medium because this is no boundaries, which typically in my experience runs a little small because it is the juniors line. Um, I like the medium. I also could have gone with the small. So I think it just depends on like, it's a little roomier in like the stomach area for me. So if you want something more fitted in that area, you could go with your normal size. If you want a little more room, you could size up. Either way, it works for me personally, but I do really like having these basics in my closet, like I said, especially ones that are thick enough in the straps that I can wear a regular bra. I don't have to wear a strapless bra. I do appreciate that. And with that, I bought these cargo sweats. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about these. Love, love the neutral color. It looks a little more elevated, even though you're wearing sweatpants. And because as cargo, it just looks like pants versus just wearing like your pajamas out of the house. So yeah, these are really, really cute. I'll probably wear this outfit traveling, like if I'm going on an airplane and I wanna be comfy, but still look presentable. I think this is a cute outfit. I did wear it with my Converse platforms because these are a little long. I am five foot five, but I have very short legs. Like in terms of torso to leg ratio, I'm very much torso, very small legs. <laughs> So I have the legs of someone who's like five foot three. So these are long on me. I would say if you're five three or shorter, they're, they're gonna be quite long on you. So do with that information what you will. I did get my normal size small and they fit great. I think they run true to size in terms of the waistband. I really like this outfit. It's cute for traveling and you look cute even though you're wearing sweatpants and a tank top, you know? Another thing I've been loving is parachute pants. Same thing. It's like wearing athleisure, you know, you can wear these working out, you can wear them not working out. And these are pants that I, I've got quite a few different variations of this, but this one I just picked up at Target. And these ones are so cute. I wear these for dance practice all the time when I want something a little baggier and I feel comfortable wearing this to practice. And then if I have to go run errands afterwards, I still look cute, you know, like I look presentable. I don't look like I'm just wearing leggings and a little crop top like I would wear to the gym out and about. It's not my favorite thing to do out and about. Anyway, so these are parachute pants. They do have a cinch at the bottom, so I like that. These are from the brand uh, All In Motion from Target and All In Motion runs big, especially their bottoms. I have to wear an extra small. The smalls are giant on me and I am typically a small. So I would say size down if you, uh, if you want to have it fit you true to size. If you want a little roomier, just go with your normal size, but they definitely run big and there's no drawstring on the waist, waistband, just so you know. So I love these. I've already worn these a whole bunch of times. I just stuck them back on the hanger for you to see. They're black and white. I do believe they also come in another color, so I'll link them down below. Um, in the outfit that you're seeing, I wore it with this tank. Now I'm gonna return this tank because it is way too small. I do like it. Maybe I'll order it in the next size up. This is from Love & Sports from Walmart. It's just like a really good workout tank, white. It's got adjustable straps. It's got a racer back. It has cups. Ooh, I got my makeup on it. I'm gonna pretend like we didn't see that. It does have cups in, uh, in that you can remove. Can you remove them? Yes, you can. This is way too small. This is my normal size small. It is squeezing the life out of me everywhere. And listen, I don't mind having like a little bit of compression or support, but the, this is way too small, both in the chest area and in the waist area, it's way too small. So I would say you wanna size up. That's my advice. It is ribbed, it is stretchy, it is thick. It feels like good quality, but definitely wanna size up for that one. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite things I picked up for this haul, these pants. Okay, I am also very much into the baggy pants trend. I know I said like a year or two ago, I will, I will never stop wearing skinny jeans. I haven't worn skinny jeans in a really long time. And I actually like it because these are more comfortable. So yeah, I'm just loving the baggy pant trend. And camo is a classic, right? I mean, it just is. It's giving 90s. 90s. It's giving 90s. So I wore these with the clogs or uh, clogs, right? Is that what they're called? Clogs. It's just like a really cute, comfy outfit. I just, I don't know. I'm loving this comfy aesthetic. 
So these are from the brand No Boundaries. I did get a size small and they fit good. And lengthwise, I was able to wear the clogs. They were a little long on me, like they are touching the ground. So again, if you're like 5'3 or shorter, these are gonna be quite long on you. So either wear something with a platform or you could get them uh, hemmed. But love, 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 love these pants. Absolutely love these pants. They come in solid colors as well. I may, I may get some in some solid colors as well, but yeah, they're only $17. That's pretty good in my opinion. Okay, this pair of baggier pants did not work out for me, unfortunately. They are really cute. They are a cargo pant, but they're faux leather. These ones are from Sofia Vergara. I do feel that her pants run, I don't even wanna say big, they just fit me weird, maybe with just my body shape. But I did get a size four, which they're way too big. But I do feel if I went down a size, they would fit me in the waist, but they would be tight everywhere else. That's just my body type. Like my hips are quite wide, but my waist is quite small. And a lot of their pants are more like up and down. So if that's your body shape, maybe they would work better for you, but they're really cute. They're very long though. And I do find Sofia Vergara pants run very long, very long. Some of the pants have different inseams, but these ones didn't have an option for a different inseam. So yeah, I mean, I would say if you're like five, six or taller, they're probably gonna fit you good. I wore a pair of heels with these and they still were way too long on me. I do love a faux leather look though. It's very cute, especially for nighttime. And I paired it with this tank from No Boundaries. This is very cute, very 90s. Like the snakeskin little cami. It's a little too big though. I did get a size small, but I think if I size down, the boobies would not fit me. So just keep that in mind, but this is very cute. It's very, very cute. It is a, a couple of sheer layers on top of each other. So like if you look really close, you probably can see through. Um, so maybe you wanna wear a bra under it. Maybe you wanna wear like pasties or something, unless you don't care and that's your decision, but this is very cute. It also, I think, comes in a leopard print, I wanna say. It's really cute, but it just doesn't fit me perfectly. I do also have to wear a bra nowadays. Like, I, I can't go braless very often. And this V is pretty low, so you can see my bra. So anyway, it's cute though. All right, I have a couple of sweaters to talk about. I am a cat lady, okay? And I know so many of you out there are as well. Look at this cat sweater. It is so adorable. <laughs> it is a cardigan from No Boundaries. I did get a size small and it is a little cropped. It's not like midriff bearing cropped, but if you wear a pair of high-waisted jeans, it hits the waistband. It's a really comfortable sweater. It's not itchy at all. It is a little more on the plush side. I would say it's a medium weight and it's really, really cute. It's just more for the novelty. It's more for the novelty, but I thought it was cute. I got this sweater set from Sofia Vergara. She has been doing a lot of sweater sets over the years, and this one is cute. It's like a kind of shawl type of shape where it's a little bit kind of bigger in the body, and it comes with a little cami. Again, I like that the straps on this are a little thicker, so you can just wear a regular bra with it. You can wear them separately, you could wear them together. I did get my normal size small, and it fits good. I would say if you're in between, you could size down because the cami was, a little big. I mean, it wasn't so big that I would have wanted to size down, but I am a true size small. It fits fine. So love this color. It does come in other colors. This would be perfect for work wear. It would be perfect for like Thanksgiving, the holidays, something like that. Very, very cute. Very, very cute. And then I have a handful of dresses to talk about. So this one is from Free Assembly at Walmart. Imagine that it is sashed up. <laughs> this is a button down kind of like faux silk material. It's really, really cute. It has pleats at the bottom. I, I wish it was a little shorter on me and that's typically how I feel for most dresses. Like I said, I'm 5'5", five five, but like proportionally, a lot of dresses don't show a lot of my leg and I, I really like when a dress is above the knee and this is just a little too long for me, but I would say if you're, you know, if you're taller, if you have longer legs, you might like how this looks or maybe you want it a little longer. Uh, this would be really cute for the office. It could be cute for the holidays. And I did get my normal size small. I would say if you're in between, you could go down because it is quite roomy on me, but it's not meant to be tight either. But it was cute. I liked it. I don't know that I'm going to keep it. I don't love it that much. This one I love, and I wish I had somewhere to go to wear it. <laughs> this would be perfect, perfect for a uh, wedding. But this is from Sofia Vergara. I got my normal size small. It fits really good. It is like a one-shoulder 
ruched number and it is very comfortable because it is jersey material. It is so adorable and so sexy and I love everything about it. Like there's nothing about it I would change. I think it's so cute. I just don't really have anywhere to wear it, but I'm gonna keep it just in case. Cause you always, listen, it's always good to have something like this in your closet just in case something comes up. You know what I mean? So love that. And then this dress from Sofia Vergara as well, really cute. This would be really cute again for a wedding, um, a fall wedding if you're going somewhere where it's a little chillier cause it has sleeves. I did get an extra small. I definitely should have just gotten a small cause the extra small is quite small in the bust area. So I would say just go with your normal size. This is really pretty, a little more on the flowy side and lengthwise, I feel like this would fit uh, a more petite person because on me, it was well off the floor, well off the floor. So if you are taller than me, it's going to be almost like a T-length dress. If you're shorter than me, it could be a maxi dress on you. It's not too long, which a lot of her things are. So uh, yeah, I would say go with your normal size. I, I shouldn't have sized down. I don't know why I did. Well, sometimes Sophia Vergara stuff runs uh, runs a little big. By the way, you should follow me on Instagram as well as the LTK app. And that is an app where I, I always post outfits and links to my outfits there before I post them on YouTube. So if you want to just scroll my feed on LTK, the link to my LTK is in the description box. Go ahead and follow me over there because I've already put this one up there. I've already put this, uh, this dress on Instagram, but this is from a new day at Target and I did get an extra small and I would say you definitely want to size down because the extra small fits me. It's even a little roomy. So uh, you definitely want to size down. This is like what they're calling a blazer dress. So cute. So cute. This makes me want to have a job where I need to look nice <laughs> because I would wear this to work. It is so cute. This is a navy blue with white stripes. I do believe it comes in other colors and it is really nice quality. It is double lined, just like a blazer. It is stunning. You could wear a shirt underneath it. If you want a little more warmth, you could put a blazer over it. Do they, they might even have a matching blazer that goes with this. Oh my goodness, I love it. I wish it was a little shorter on me, like, like I've already said with everything else, but very cute dress. And then the last thing I wanna show you is this maxi dress. And this also I already put on Instagram, I already put it on LTK. It is a ribbed t-shirt maxi dress from Wild Fable at Target. That is their juniors line and I did get a size small and I will say it fits me literally perfect. It, it's almost, almost too small. So if you are in between, you definitely want to size up. If you, even if you want it a little roomier, you would want to size up because it's very, 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 very tight on me. Um, but I do really love it. I love it. It's like really sexy and also casual. You could style it so many different ways. I love that there is a big slit. It's hard to see here, but there's a big slit in the back, which I really appreciate with a maxi dress. And the the boots that I wore with this and the try on are from Walmart from like three years ago. So they're no longer available, but you could wear it with some boots, super cute for fall. You could wear it with sneakers. You could wear it with sandals, whatever. It's a really nice, thick, stretchy material. It's very cute. All right. And that is it for this fall try on haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I know this isn't in my typical content, but I just had some stuff that I wanted to share with you, things that I'm just really enjoying for this upcoming fall season. Let me know down in the comments if you like this type of video. Um, I may sprinkle one of these in here and there once in a while. I don't plan to like do this regularly on my channel really, unless there's a big desire for it, but you know, I'm mostly a makeup channel right now. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video anyway, and let me know your thoughts down below in the comments because I love hearing from you. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot when you do that. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing before you leave. I do upload videos weekly and I'd love to see you back on my channel again. I wanna thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.